Hey gang, Scott here. If you are a Lightroom user, then you probably know. Adobe added generative AI to Lightroom in the last week. It's there as an early access type thing. But if you've been using this in Photoshop for a while, you know it's good and you now have one less reason to go to Photoshop from Lightroom. Uh, in this video, I want to show you the, the feature and really just kind of talk about the controls, you know, which one does what, which each one means, all these little tick boxes. And uh, we're gonna put this photo here to the test and get rid of this log that's just cutting across the bottom of the photo. So the generative AI is in our retouching tools. We'll open this up and we have these different checkboxes now. Generative AI, and you can get information on it. Object aware, and the other things we, we used to have down toward the bottom in the toolbar, we had visualize the spots and tool overlay. That stuff moved here. Still works the same, uh, no changes there. I wanna talk about these two checkboxes. Now, without any selected, this is your classic, you know, um, content aware remove. And so no checkboxes turned on. I'm gonna show you how this thing works here. So if I were to do this, just make a big brush and let's just go right across the entire log here all the way through. And this is the older technology. It'll go and try and make a selection and remove what we you know, it thinks needs to be taken care of. And it's kind of messy, right? You know, it's it's left artifacts out on the right. Okay, those are probably easy enough to deal with. But this middle part, it's just off. It's just not there. Uh, this is where the old content aware remove just falls short. Generative AI is much better. Let's give generative AI a shot at this one and see how it does. So let's remove that uh, content aware fill. And now I'll tick on generative AI and do that same type of lazy selection and making sure I give the tool a little breathing room. So you know, a little uh, border on either side of the object. And the first thing you get is a selection. You can refine the selection, adding to it or subtracting from it as you need to. This is the size of your brush. Once you're happy with the selection, hit apply. Let generative AI go to work and notice that it has like tips there in the uh, in the little pop-up pay attention to those there's a few of them and they change uh, every time you use the tool and uh, you know this one's saying you know worry about crop other ones will give you advice about the selections themselves this is pretty good except for that big lump of rock on a rock of, of log on the right but there are variations you get three choices one let's take a look at the second one that's pretty nice, that's pretty clean. And then here's a third one. Um, better, uh, I, I think of the three, I like the second one. And at that point, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of finished. You're, you're done, if, you know, you're happy with this result. I wanna go through the one other checkbox we haven't talked about, which is object aware. So let's, um, let's go ahead and pick on that generative AI, delete it and repeat this one more time, this time using object aware. And what object aware does is help refine the selection. So again, lazy selection with a very big brush all the way across this log. And it's analyzing and notice the selection is tighter. There's still a border, right? There's still space between the object to be removed and the rest of the photo. And that's intentional. That's giving the AI some information to work with. Same idea, you can refine the masks and then apply when you're happy. And once we're finished, we can review the variations. One, two, or three, and I'm, I'm leaning toward two again. I'm mostly watching this middle cascade where that's connecting well, and I'll be done with that. I'll just say close. So that's uh, generative AI at work in Lightroom. I, I have one less reason I'm going to Photoshop. I would go into Photoshop to do this work that knowledge is now in Lightroom. And uh, you know, kudos to Adobe for putting it in Lightroom Classic as well as Lightroom. You know, as we say Lightroom now, we generally mean the cloud version. And they've put it everywhere. Uh, recap those, uh, those tick boxes though. No check boxes, you're getting the old school content aware fill. 
turn on generative AI, you're getting the AI intelligence for the replacement and you have three different variations you can choose from. I didn't show this, there's a refresh button. You can also refresh the AI and say, I don't like any of those, give me three more and keep going on that. And then there's the object aware checkbox that will help refine your selection when you're using the generative AI tool. And I generally will turn that on because it will give me a, um, a tighter selection around things. I can be a little lazy with my brush strokes and still get good results from the tool. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.